Thank you, Vincent, and uh, can I begin by acknowledging the Chairman uh, and all other distinguished guests. It's really a pleasure to be here today. This is one of the parts of my uh, visit to Samoa that I've been looking forward to the most, to be honest. Uh, Australia shares a rich history uh, and a deep love of sport with Samoa, and that's helped to sustain our friendship on and off the field. Uh, Australia's Samoan diaspora community has a strong presence in Australian netball, rugby union and rugby league competitions from community through to national level, league, national level competitions. Uh, I first started watching and playing rugby union when I was 12 years old, when the 1991 Rugby World Cup was on. And for many people, the most symbolic moment in that World Cup was David Campese's over-the-shoulder pass to defeat the evil All Blacks in the semi-final. But for me, it was the upstart Manu Samoa team, led by the great and um, much uh, respected and dearly departed Peter Fadalofa's upstart campaign, led by a piano removalist, led by a piano removalist who defeated the mighty Wales team, a semi-finalist only four years ago, a team that held Australia to 9-3 in the pool round. For me, that was the, the story of the 91 World Cup when I first started watching rugby. And after much valiant effort, um, Manu Samoa beat, beat Australia in 2011, uh, a, a game that will live long in memory. Uh, but nothing illustrates the, the, bind, the close binds between our two countries in rugby than the fact that the captains of our two national teams are brothers with Michael Ella, Ella Toa captaining Manu Samoa and his younger brother Alan Ella La Toa captaining the Australian Wallabies in 2022. Nothing can be more symbolic of the close rugby relationships. Equally symbolic is the support for Samoan rugby through the Pacific Oz Sports Program. And that's why I'm pleased to announce today that Australia's support for Manu Samoa will continue during the Rugby World Cup campaign. We are proud to sponsor Manu Samoa for the Rugby World Cup campaign, including financial support of 220,000 Australian dollars. This follows on from our previous support for Samoan rugby, including the Samoan Independence Rugby Sevens Tournament in September last year, and Manu Samoa's very successful 2022 Pacific Nations campaign where you defeated Australia A. Eh? Um, I shouldn't talk too proudly about that, but you did. Uh, you defeated Tonga, uh, and then your historic come from behind victory against Fiji to take out the cup. It's a great achievement. Uh, and this is in addition to our support for Oceania rugby uh, and creating pathways for women's uh, Samoan rugby players to compete at an elite level, including through supporting development of Samoa's National Women's 15s Rugby Championship, the first ever Oceania Women's Combine held in 2022, and two Samoan women being awarded Pacific All Sports Scholarships to play for Australian Super W clubs in 2023. Um, our support extends beyond Rugby Union. I won't dwell on too much at the heart of Samoan Rugby Union, but we are proud to support Samoan netball and Samoan Rugby League as well. But if I can uh, finish where I began, which is that Australia is proud to support Manu Samoa. Pacific Oz Sports is proud to be a partner to help grow rugby in this country, to help support elite pathways and grassroots. It's great to see some school kids here and great to support your, your uh, presence at the Rugby World Cup in France later this year. I wish you the best of luck. I'm uh, uh, hoping desperately that you repeat the exploits of 1991 and that you uh, show what a proud upstart nation like Samoa can do and defeat some of those uh, behemoths, particularly the ones in the Northern Hemisphere. So thank you again for having me and best of luck. <laughs>